There's just too much news. Thankfully, though, too much news is just the right amount of news for a segment we call Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. <laughs> Let's kick off with some news from the World Cup. Today, Argentina and Lionel Messi suffered a shock defeat to Croatia and Sam Dudovic. <laughs> but... But that wasn't even today's craziest news out of Russia. Burger King is apologizing to its customers in Russia for some offensive ads that were aimed towards women. Burger King Russia offered women a chance to win $47,000 in free Whoppers for Life if they got pregnant by a World Cup soccer player. The prize was offered to women who get, quote, the best football genes and, quote, ensure the success of the Russian team for generations to come. This would be a great excuse for any woman who gets caught cheating during the World Cup with a soccer player. She can be like, no, honey, you think I wanted to make sex with Ronaldo? No, I did it for free burgers for us. <laughs> it's like making babies for the future World Cup. <laughs> like, I can imagine when these soccer babies are born and the doctor spanks them, the baby immediately falls to the floor. She's like, ah! <laughs> This is such a, <laughs> such a weird story, but we really don't have the time for it, because uh, remember the Charlottesville Nazis? Well, they're back. Yes, the organizers of the Charlottesville rally have just announced that they'll be hosting a march in D.C. for white civil rights. Yeah, that's right. They're demanding better treatment for white people in America. <laughs> Which, I'm just gonna put it out there, is gonna make this the most successful protest march in history. <laughs> It's gonna be like, we demand civil right. Oh, hey, we got them. All right, good march, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it already. My pal. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. <laughs> now, look, I don't have time for Nazis, so let's move on, because there's a wardrobe malfunction that's blowing up the news. Breaking news, Melania Trump making a surprise visit to children at the border. But did she hurt the message she was trying to send with an unfortunate wardrobe choice? The first lady wearing a jacket, bearing the words, I really don't care, do you? Wow. I really don't care, do you? Wow. It looks like when Melania was in the hospital, she had her last <laughs> removed. <laughs> although, although, it is kind of sweet that she made a jacket out of her and Donald's wedding vows. That's really cool. <laughs> I like that. Now, look, we, we could spend forever talking about how out of touch this makes Melania seem, but I don't really care, do you? Plus, <laughs> we don't have time to talk about fashion faux pas because there's been another shooting in America. But a strange story involving the fanatic, a hot dog, and a head injury. On Monday night, a Philly fanatic started firing hot dogs, real hot dogs, into the stands, and one landed squarely between McVeigh's eyes. And then, next thing I know, he, shoot it, he shot it in our direction, and bam, it like hit me like a, a ton of bricks. Kathy McVeigh loves the Phillies and doesn't plan to take legal action. And yes, she does understand if her story gets a few laughs. It gives people a good laugh, and if that makes somebody chuckle, then that's fine. <laughs> oh man. That's so cool. Like... I'm really glad that she's not badly hurt and that she's being a really good sport about this because we do want to make jokes. Uh, first of all, America is rock and roll. You guys will shoot anything. <laughs> Hot dogs, T-shirts, cash. When you get shot in America, it couldn't mean anything. You'd be like, oh, no, I've been shot with a puppy. Yay! <laughs> oh, and by the way, it's probably smart that she's not suing, right? Because the Philly mascot's name is literally the fanatic. Yeah, <laughs> who knows how far he'll go. He might be like, she's suing? Well, I guess I have no choice but to finish the job. <laughs> and I know some people are probably saying right now, she's so unlucky to be shot in the face with a hot dog. But there's probably some people in Africa going, she's so lucky to be shot in the face <laughs> with a hot dog. <laughs>